Hi boys, back again. Um, I'm going to show you Steve's minivan. Um, I'm currently, what's he doing video? Videoing you video, man. He's videoing, videoing me, videoing him. Doesn't know YouTube now. Yeah, so I've just made Steve put a rose petal on his van. Um, I'm going to leave it down to the YouTube comments. Now, should he have the rose petals on or the standard white wall tyres? Um, I'll take you around to the other side so you can see. So, get in the comment section and uh, and let us know what you think, rose petals or standard white walls. Right, Steve, do you want to uh, tell us about your minivan, mate? Cool, so 1980, 95L uh, minivan. Uh, it used to be the Magnetags van, if any of you actually remember that. Um, the guy who actually built it, uh, Connor, back in um, 2013, he talked to a guy called Curtis, he's had it for quite some time, about probably about six or seven years. Um, I took it off his hands. Um, I don't know why he wanted rid because it's it's an absolutely stunning van. Uh, 998 um, leaded head, as I found out. Um, I'm not sure Tony will put a link in, in the description as well of uh, the, the hardware I found out about that. Um, so big thanks up to Adam Campion again who gave me his uh, cylinder head because I melted a valve on the, uh, the leaded. So Adam Campion's also on YouTube. But you can have a shout out. Is, we'll yeah. put a link to Adam Campion's channel in the uh, in the description as well. Sound guy, absolutely sound guy. So what have I done since I got it? It had a roof rack, so I've taken the roof rack on. I'm off and I'm refurbishing that at the moment. Um, I haven't done much to it apart from some LED lights. So we'll go out for a spin in it. And you can actually see how um, how light it is. But I'll show you. So we'll show you the LED lights I've got on it. Obviously, Tony's put the rose petal on. Yeah. Tony's just made Steve spend... Well, so basically, right, what happened is Steve coming out me on my van and then like vans that much, he went and bought his own van. So now because he's going home again, I've decided to uh, make him spend more money. How much are rose petals, mate? 600 quid? Without tyres, yeah, I think they are, aren't they? Yeah, there's something, there's something silly with the AO32 tyres on. So right, we'll pull it forward and then uh, we'll give you a tour around it. So, because uh, <laughs> it's like a minivan... Things don't work straight away, but he's managed to uh, get it back open again. So we'll show you the uh, show the engine bay. I'll show you the engine bay because at the moment I don't have anything to uh, to prop it up with. I'm missing I'm missing a prop, but I have seen one on uh, Toonies Cooper that might come home with me. Um, 998, as you've probably seen it. That's again that's Adam Campion's head on it. It's got some fancy um, HT leads which do absolutely soddle. Um, but red at 10 brake horsepower. If that might oh, right. Yeah, 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 and I've, the red coil. Yeah, oh, red coils, another and another five, so that's 15 bhp. Red water pump pulley. Ah, oh, 20 bhp um, there. Red tie on the top, so you know we're talking potentially talking 100 brake horsepower engine. Here. So Without question, mate. Right? Yeah, you've got to be careful in bands. Um, Can't so go too I, fast. Oh Christ, I. So when I bought it, it didn't run, um, and I went over to see Curtis. I took my toolkit with him. I said, "If you're happy, can I go and have a look and see what's wrong with it?" Um, it turned out the float chamber was just full of silt. So, because it's, it's got an old tank on it and it's obviously dragged through, but it didn't have a um, fuel filter on it. So I emptied what I can only describe as half a beach out of it and uh, cleaned it up with about half a can of uh, car cleaner. And she works and she runs and it actually runs really, really sweet. I'm so, so pleased with it at the moment. It's done a full service. Um, there's uh, Valvoline VR1 as I do with Felix. Um, it's got a... Um, what's, um, by the way, Steve's also got another mini, which is absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah. Stick a link to that one as well. Stick a link to that one as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, it runs really well. It's 908, but it's gutless, um, which is a bit of a shame because they are wonderful vans. One of the stupid little things I've done is I've taken the badge off Felix and I've put it on the front. So originally that was a mini 40 badge um, underneath that I've just shoved a just one of the little green fronts on because I think it looks neat or anything else. Um, Magna tags, that's what he used to do for a living. So it's on the front. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I'll turn the LED new light. plates, yeah. new plates. He's put new plates on, so he's put LED lights in there as well. Um, which, yeah, they just suit his van so well, mate. Those with them rose petals. If everyone's not screaming at you in the comment section to put rose petals on it, Steve, then I'm not uploading again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, LED lights the front. Um, they are stupidly bright. They look at night. Yeah, yeah, it's night and day difference. Really, really, really good. Um, one rose petal, because why not? One rose petal gang. That one. Um, these are uh, four and a half inch wide, 10 inch Cooper S rims. They've been um, powder coated white, and the white wheel has been done by uh, Mr. White Wheels himself in Stafford. 
So please look him up if you're looking after these. He does an absolutely. We'll put a link to Mr. Whitewall's Instagram as well because um, yeah, yeah. he's looked after Steve he big has, time. He has. He's done an absolutely stunning job. He's done all four tyres for me, and I'm, I could be more pleased with it. Um, overall, I mean, it's a condition of a 1980s van that's been reconditioned seven years ago. It um, needs a little bit of work still. It's the interiors getting sorted. I've done a, um, a bit of sound deadening at the moment with the sheets um, on the roof and in the back here but uh, I've ordered a new interior, so it's a bit jaded at the moment. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's got the Wired by Wilson, um, I can't think what they're called, the, the buttons. Switch panel. I think, yeah, I can't think what they're called, who makes uh, them. But anyway, um, so yeah, they're, they've been done professionally, uh, all the wiring's behind. Some of the wiring that's hanging down is actually for when I get the, um, the fan, the same one as Tooney's got the interior fan, um, from recommendation from him and Cole. That's uh, another thing I made you buy as well, mate. It that's, is, but it's that's for, three things. But that's for the right reason, though. That's that's actually a really this is a necessity, reason. not just a, not yeah. just a luxury. It was one of those that once you showed me it, and like today when we've got it wired in and it blowing, you think actually this needs to go in the van. So yeah, it, I'm doing a lot of bits and pieces with that. The the heater and the the choke they'll be moved. The alarm um, LED will be moved. But um, yeah, the interior is being changed. That's. Super secret at the moment. And so if yeah, you, if you subscribe to his channel, you'll be able to see what he puts in. Yeah, so, so that's, that'll be here in... Shameless plug. Yeah, exactly, man. So that will be here in August. Um, with the rest of the interior, that's coming from Newton Commercial. Um, new roof lining, Tony's going to get it for tomorrow because he's a lad. Um, I think that's about it at the moment. I'll show you in the, in the back. There's nothing really to see in the back, but... I'll sh show you anyway. If you've open, have I locked it? <laughs> so... Again, LED lights on the rear, so super happy with those. Pea shooter gang, that yeah. won't be staying a pea shooter for long. No. That might give you a little bit of an in inkling as to what he's going to do with it. It's a two inch system, that's all I'm saying, that's going on it. Um, so in the back, I've put a bit of the, the sand ending panels at the moment. I'm putting 5mm um, um, Dodo close cell phone, that's going to be covering the entire lot and then eventually it's going to be um, boarded out with uh, with carpet down it. Tune's also getting me some glass because even though these are nice and tinted, they're scratched. But I've got new seals because the water keeps coming in. Um, I've just replaced the shocks. So the shocks all around on this are Protec lowered, um, which driving up here um, is about an hour and a quarter. And I was really surprised because the old ones, I can't really, they were just really crappy red. They had no, no manufacturer on them and they were really soft. But these, even on the softest setting, are stunning. They really throw this van around the corner. Race van now. Especially oh, them yeah, especially yeah. them rose petals on it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> rose petals. Yeah. <clears throat> With the, the new two inch uh, exhaust and what's yeah, going and then, on in the engine. And then what something silly is going under that bonnet. Yeah. But yeah, and again, LEDs back uh, for the number plate light. Mine actually work straight away. It didn't need any uh around. Not saying anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and because because of the speed oh, <laughs> 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 You've probably seen this, but we've me and Alex had to put a spoiler on. So, my missus was tidying out the house. Um, anywhere now. The missus was tidying out the house last week, um, and she come across this. I can't remember what I bought this for. Um, so I was like, right, that is going on Steve's van, and I think it is just totally in keeping with his van because if you come to this, this side, if you look at that angle. It's just perfect for the contour of his roof. And it needs the downforce on the rear, of course. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Front wheel drive needs a spoiler on the back, doesn't it, mate? Mm -hmm. Right. That's enough waffle. Should we uh, should we get out on it? Yeah, we'll we'll change that because. Oh, right, yeah. Let's not let's not go driving around with two two wheel nuts on it. Yeah, and also the fact that I got more grip on one side than the other. So yeah, we'll whiz that wheel off, and uh, I'll join you in the van. Oh, before we uh, go as well, those brakes will be changing because those brakes are not going to stop what this man is intending on doing. If I can get seven point nines under there, I will. But I'm not going for thirteens on the van. No way. No, so I think Steve's original plan was to go uh, 13s in Decket, but I think I've talked you out of it, mate. Yeah. Talked him out of it. Yeah. After the, do you know what? After driving driving the Cooper um, and seeing what it is actually capable of, that speed on 10s and how well it handles, it's yeah, it's changed my mind quite significantly. So those who go, oh, go 13s because you'll get grip. No. That's no, that's honestly, crazy. like, for, for me, the ultimate tyre combo on a Mini is yeah. rose petals um, with 
an AL32 tyre. I've actually got those AL32 tyres on my Blue Mini, um, which have got a 6x10 revolution wheel on them. And I know it's an automatic, but I've flung it into Benz and it goes around like it's on rails. So, are they at the correct uh, Ugga Duggers, mate? Mate, you, well, if I got my ratchets with maybe, what, like two Ugga Duggers, I think it is? Two Ugga Duggers. Right, you got a torque wrench. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll dig it. Well, I have in there, but I don't know how to use it though. But I'll figure it out, mate. The wheels are coming off anyway because they need to clean underneath it. Yeah, so, right, we'll on. join you in the van. Okay, so we're in Steve's van. I say it's a work in progress, that's why uh, the, all the interior is missing. But oh, I've not been in a van for ages. The last time I was out in mine was. Um, I can't remember, was it now? November it was. This is. It's so weird going from your car into this and the gear throws all over the place. Yeah, Steve was saying on the uh, on the Cooper S it's got a real like small throw on it. It's how it's it's very precise and it's so small and you can really throw it through the gears. This it's kind of like you have to find the corner of the van to change the gear. Yeah. I reckon I don't mean I don't I recognise that noise. I don't miss it. <laughs> the old van boom. I say it's a 998. So, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but by the, time, by the time Steve's finished with it, it'll be lovely. But it's a cool little van. Yeah, man. It's great. If you can get one, get a van. Yeah, vans as well, boys. A real, real good investment as well. There we go. So right, we're going to go for a bit of a mooch, and uh, that's yeah. pretty much Steve's uh, minivan. Anything yeah, else you want to say, mate? No. If you think of anything, we'll uh, we'll come back to you. But in the meantime, we're just going to enjoy it. Yeah, for me and Steve, we'll uh, we'll catch you again next time. We'll be seeing you. Right. So that's uh, that's Steve's minivan. Um, we went and sent it round the motorway. Yeah, proper cool. Like I say, make sure you go and subscribe to Steve's channel. I'll put a link in the uh, description as well. Days. more good things to come with both the van and Plenty. the turbo cooper sport yeah he's uh his mini cooper sport is just that some th something else um this is going to be very very different to his cooper um because this is something he can use and enjoy uh whereas felix is an absolute work of art um so yeah go and subscribe to uh steve and i shall uh yeah, see you in the next video dude i shall catch you shortly all right be all seeing then. you go on i'll uh, i'll watch you drive off get them rose petals ordered Everyone's like this in the comments. Okay, like coming here because I ended up leaving, spending about a thousand pounds or something new. Hey, just think next time you come to you, you might have bought a Mark 1 Cooper S, mate. <laughs> Don't. Steve, legend, mate. Thank you very much. See you in a bit, dude.